guys welcome back to my video my name is Amy um, this is my channel in this channel I talk about my experience with plants I share that with you um, today I want to do a little video about um, the let's say the ins and outs news of my plants the updates of my plants I was trying to figure out a better way of saying it I was thinking maybe um, calling it my plant failures but I don't really want to call it that. I guess maybe my plant lessons, things that ha I have learned, things that have happened to my plants and um, things that are going well. Um, I would like to do this more regularly because I really enjoy keeping track of the uh, progress of my plants. And um, actually when in the process of doing this, I noticed two things. So like for the plant kind of victories, I'm taking a lot of plants from underneath my grow lights to show you. So it's showing me that they are really doing well because of the, uh, the grow lights is really helping a lot. And um, another thing that this process has shown me is that I actually have way more plant uh, kind of victories than plant fails or lessons. Um, it kind of helps me keep things in perspective because every time something doesn't work out, um, I feel really devastated. Um, but uh, having, getting to do this really shows me that most of the plants are doing pretty well and of course sometimes things don't work out. I really enjoy it when other people show me how their plants are doing and I get to learn from their experience. And also it, um, it's really humbling. Um, I don't just think that, you know, because of me, this is, they're doing well or because of me, they're dying. It really helps keep things in perspective. So, without further ado, I'm going to go into it. I think I'm just going to go over the victories first with you because there are, like I said, uh, uh, quite a few more. Uh, I have my laptop here to remind me of all the things I want to tell you about. So, the very first uh, thing on the list, of course, uh, you saw a video last time. I, my um, Monstera Elbow Borsigiana rooted really well and I potted it with you guys in the previous video. Another thing that I potted recently is my, I'll take it out from the little, it's sitting in a little dome right now, but um, it's this little Hoya serpent that I got a cutting of and it was rooting in sphagnum moss first and then once the roots were longer I kind of changed it to um, water just to try things out. Oh my goodness you guys, as I'm taking it out, so I potted it because the roots are quite develop and as I'm taking it out from the dome I'm seeing a little new leaf this is so exciting I don't know if you could see it's so tiny you know serpent is like one of the smallest leaf um, Hoyas I gotta kind of go through this quick I can't let myself uh, be long-winded because I have so many news I want to share with you guys and you know like Jordan's walking Wolfie and they're gonna be back I'll probably have only like 20 minutes so the Hoya Serpent's doing really well too. I'm really excited. Lots of new Hoya um, updates. Uh, the first one I will show you is my Hoya um, Obovada. So I've had this uh, two cuttings and they've been kind of uh, dormant for a really long time. I got one new leaf, so beautiful and shiny. This one started around Christmas time and now it's like fully mature and it's a really big leaf. And uh, so that's from the one cutting I got uh, first. And then this other cutting also is putting out two new leaves. So I'm very excited about this. This is one of my very favorite plants. Um, yeah, so that's doing really well. The next way I will show you is my compacta. Also really exciting. This one is sitting in my modern spur uh, sprout uh, grow box. Uh, when I first got these two stems of Hoya Hindu rope, they were not doing very well and they were kind of rotting. So for me to see new growth in this plant is really exciting to see this new leaf. And on top of that, there's another uh, new growth point. And on the side, can you see? Also, new growth. So I'm really excited about this. Yeah, this one's doing well. Um, Sitting in the same uh, modern sprout uh, grow box is my uh, pubic calyx. And all these like dark purple leaves, these are all new growth. 
uh, since it's been under the in the grow box. Another thing that's actually really exciting exciting I want to show you. This is kind of when the leaves get maybe a little bit too much light. It's a little bit stressed out, but this leaf has like the splash has turned pink, which I think is really beautiful. Yeah. Let me see, I'll put it there. Another one with new growth is the Carnosa um, Crimson Princess. It just stay kind of not growing for a really long time, but ever since it, uh, I put it in that modern grow, uh, sprout grow box, it's, um, these are all the new growth. Look at the pink new leaf. It's so adorable. Yeah, so that one is, uh, we got new growth there. Um, the next couple ones, I'm not, they're not in the modern sprout uh, grow frame, but they are under grow lights. This is one of my very favorite Hoya, Hoya Comingiana and uh, just got multiple growth points and I just love the way it's structured. Super beautiful leaves. Oh, this one is the Hoya Rotondifolia. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, probably not. but. Uh, it's got these beautiful rectangular leaves and uh, very hard to the touch. Um, I wasn't expecting anything, any growth from it. It just kind of looked like it was dormant for a long time, but I don't know if you can see, it's put out two new leaves here. I hope they grow bigger. I have a lot of new Hoya leaves that just kind of drop, which is pretty sad. And then I have my little cute fuzzy Hoya ciliata and cute little fuzzy new growth. Um, yeah, those are the uh, Hoya new growths. Another good news for the Hoya in my Hoya world is my Hoya um, ovovada variegata. It was like a big stem, a uh, big rooted stem plant. So, but the roots are, were not very mature, so the plant leaves were always really soft and um, I wasn't sure if it was going to make it because I lost a lot of leaves. But this one is now out of the hospital, out of the, uh, out from under the grow light and heat, heating pad. The leaves are really firm now, so I know the roots are doing its uh, work. So this one is doing super well. Uh, yeah, whenever I feel like the the Hoya leaves firm up. It's just such a satisfying feeling for me. As I block my face. Okay, so yeah, that one's doing really well. Uh, oh, wanted to show you something from behind me, actually. I have this uh, Raphidophora, Raphidophora tetrasperma that I got, and it was just like these two kind of solid leaves when I got it but it's grown these two split leaves since I got it and now the third split leaf is coming. So also something that's very exciting for me. Uh, another exciting thing is that I was doing a, a leaf propagation experiment on my begonia maculata, uh, this begonia, and it just kinda didn't do anything for a really long time but recently it's rooted, you can't really see the roots. But this is another uh, plant kind of win. Exciting news for me It's just, I hope it uh, grows new stems and new leaves, but we'll continue to monitor. I'll keep you guys updated on how this one's doing. That one, uh, okay. Finally, uh, my variegated string of hearts. Another propagation kind of um, experiment that I did, I just took one string and I clipped it off, five pairs of wings, and I propagated them just in wet soil. It was in a baggie in the beginning and now it's out of the baggie, but it's just growing so well. It's gonna trail in no time. This one I will put up for sale because I already have um, my own kind of uh, variegated string of hearts, but I'm so proud of this baby. She's so adorable. Whew, really going very fast. Uh, okay, so those are the um, planned like celebrations uh, that I wanted to share with you guys. Now on to 
some kind of plan lessons or sad stories. I don't know if you guys saw my like um, unboxing of the Hoyas from Russia, but one of them already died. The Hoya Wilbur Gay that I never learned how to pronounce the name properly. That one, I don't know what happened. Maybe like I was too afraid of overwatering it, then I kind of let it dry too much. So yeah, that one is gone. It's yeah, it was a really beautiful Hoya. I don't know if I will try growing that one again. Uh, in the same unboxing video, I have the Hoya Dekiai. Um, I lost one leaf. I hope this one stays. I'm not sure. So, uh, you know, that previous one that I, it was too dry. So then I just like was more on top of watering it. And I think maybe I have overwatered this one. So these lessons, I guess like you can't just say this is how to take care of Hoyas. Each Hoya have their own, they have their own particular needs and what they could thrive on. And, uh, yeah, you just have to really learn. I just have to really learn how to take care of each individual. Um, Margarita Hoya had told me that this one in particular really needs to stay dry. So I got to really heed to that. And hopefully this leaf will stay with me and more will grow. Another thing that happened was that I had ordered a Austral Australis Lisa Hoya from the UK. And... Uh, when it was making its way over, I had also found another one locally, so I bought that one. And when I received the UK Australis Lisa, I potted them together. And not paying attention to the fact that the roots will have different um, needs. One has been acclimated, it's from local, so it would be probably like normal Hoya care. But the other one needed a little bit more time to acclimate and I didn't pay attention to that so I kind of overwatered that and then by the time I realized it was just already rotted so much I had to take it out but the good thing is um, I I got to save a little bit of the cutting from that plant and I am propagating in sphagnum moss and it's grown really nice roots I'm not going to take it out and disturb it and show you but I don't know if you can see from the side that's the little root from the Hoya Australis Lisa. So I think this one is going to be okay. Yeah. Uh, so other lessons that I've learned. I also, in my propagation video, I've shown you guys I've been propagating a Hoya Finley Sonne and a Hoya Vilosa. And um, both of them, I was, I think, propagating in Lekka. And I... I know a lot of people have really good success with Leica, but I'm just not gonna use Leica again because I like to check the roots and uh, for both of those cuttings, when I check the roots and put them back, the Leica was just too, the friction was too much for the new, newly formed roots. So both of the, them rotted and I had to restart the propagating uh, process again. So this is a uh, Finlay Sonne. Now I'm propagating it in water. And it's rooted, again, really nicely. This plant has been so resilient. Um, so I am grateful that I didn't lose this one. And the other one, the Vilosa, actually, I just put it back in the spina moss and a baggie. This is kind of like a little greenhouse for them. So I am, again, like propagating it. Oh, see, real time. Yeah, it just, is, it just, the stem really rotted too much. The leaf just fell off. So this one has bit the dust. Uh, I don't think the stem is gonna do anything, but I'm just gonna keep it in here because I'm also uh, propagating something else in here. Yeah. So yeah, that was my lesson. I'm not gonna try to use Leca again. It's just too, I'm not good with it. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I didn't bring my little orchid over my um, Oncidium twinkle. Uh, I guess I just want to say like I know the orchids could bloom for two weeks to like three months, maybe even more, but it really only bloomed for about a week for me. So I want to look into it, how I could keep my orchids blooming more uh, for longer. So if you know the how to do it, please let me know. I would really appreciate it. Finally. Um, I have this beautiful, huge 
Tetra Stigma. And I had it on a shelf that's really high up and it's fallen down twice. One time the shell broke. So Jordan had to reinforce the shelf and we put it back in there. And I guess maybe the stamps are so strong that it kind of pushed its way. In the middle of the night, I just heard a huge bang sound and it had fallen off. And along with it falling off, um, this is really tragic. It had snapped my variegated burl marks in half. So like it used to have these beautiful variegated leaves, this, this plant, and now it's just this like sad bent leaf. But the roots are still there and a, I think a couple new leaf points are coming. So I hope this one grows new leaves and stays alive for me. But yeah, that's my other plan lesson. I mean, since then, moved it away from uh, any potential of it falling down on other plants or like hurting itself. But yeah, this guy is pretty resilient after two falls, still going strong. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna stop it right there. It's been a long video and I feel like I'm going so quickly. Uh, you guys are pretty much caught up. I have some exciting plant hauls. I think I'm gonna do a video on that the next time I see you guys. So if you like this video, um, please uh, click like, subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you like that I'm doing this update, please let me know in the comment below. I really enjoy doing it. So uh, all right, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.